Tori Hornsby here with Tesla Tips and Tricks. Have you ever wondered what your watt hour per mile measurement is or what it means, why it's important? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm sitting in my Model X Performance and the Model S and the Model X has the ability to show it on the screen behind the steering wheel, but this is simply a concise version of what you can find in the Energy app on the main screen. You can get there with your voice command by saying show Energy app, I've got a video on that, or you can hit the three dots and tap on energy. This brings up your consumption of energy and that's what this orange line means. It's showing me how much power I've consumed from the battery for each mile. And you can see the dotted line which shows the average. That's the average right now for 15 miles. My average watt hours per mile is 303. And the dotted line is the average. The orange line shows when I've been higher than average or lower than average. And then when you see it dip to green, that's when I've charged the battery. So if I go to a 30 mile view here, now it's showing that for a 30 mile view. And then you've got the ability to look at five miles as well. So I'm gonna keep on 15 miles here and just focus on this average 303 watt hours per mile. So what does that mean? Well, your battery capacity is kilowatt hours and it 1000 watt hours is one kilowatt hour. So now you can maybe connect the dots on this and why it's important. If I'm looking at my battery capacity in my Model X performance, it's 100 kilowatt hours. If I'm averaging 300 watt hours per mile, that means that on a full charge, driving the way that I drove for the past 15 miles, I would get 333 miles uh, per full charge. Now my battery has degraded, so my capacity in my battery is no longer 100. It's actually down closer to usable capacity of 90, just over 90 kilowatt hours. If I divide my 90 kilowatt hour current capacity by my average of 300, I'm gonna get about 300 miles on a single charge. Now I was driving very, very easy to lower this number. A Model X is power hungry. And you can see that when I switch to my 30 mile view. So if I, if I drove like I've driven over the past 30 miles, I'm using an average of almost 330 watt hours per mile. And that would cut my range down if because I'm driving more aggressively. And if I go to five miles, I was taking it very easy to lower this number. And last five miles, I only used 274 watt hours per mile. So some of you guys I know are getting, you know, 200 watt hours per mile. So that means that in one kilowatt hour, you can drive five miles. Seeing this and understanding what this means helps you to understand what your range is. And, and I can very easily see how just in my car, the way I've driven the past 30 miles, I'm only going to get, you know, 270 miles on a full charge currently. But if I drove all the time, like I've driven the past 15 miles, I could get 300 miles on uh, my full charge battery. And I would get even more if I drove like I've driven the last five miles, taking it very easy and keeping my air conditioner at a higher temperature, et cetera. And that's what uses power. So what's the difference between my 30 mile uh, driving consumption and my five mile driving consumption? Well, there's a couple of things. What uses battery in your car is not just acceleration. Now, if you're not on chill mode in my Model X, if I put it in ludicrous mode and I'm heavy footed, I'm going to use more energy. You're going to see higher lines here for my consumption. Also, if I turn my air conditioner on, if I have, you know, sentry mode is on, if I have heated seats on, if I'm using my heater, heat uses a lot of battery capacity and energy. So your average watt hour per mile, if you're using your heater and your heated seats and everything, and the battery is warming up when you first start driving and it's cold outside, it's going to be really, really high. In fact, mine when it's cold and I've got heated seats on and I've got the heat on and my battery is warming, warming up because I didn't precondition, I'm actually up here closer to 450 watt hours per mile. And, and if I'm driving very aggressively in that scenario and it's cold, I've seen it get almost to 500, which means I'm only getting two miles per one kilowatt hour. And that would lower my range to you know, less than 200 miles if I'm driving very aggressively. And by the way, as the car is sitting and using power, it will, you'll increase your watt 
hours per mile if you're not staying connected, if you're not staying charged, uh, connected to the charger. So that's one more reason of why you should stay connected to the charger, ABC always be charging. So this will go up as I just sit here because the computer's on. So that's what this consumption and energy uh, app shows you. And that is what on this screen over here, I'm gonna put it back to 15 miles. And that is what I'm able to watch on a Model S or a Model X, what you're able to see right here. And it just helps you to be mindful of how you're driving. And if, if I'm on a trip, you know, going a long distance, then I might be driving a little bit more chill. If I'm around town, I really don't care, honestly, because I'm just gonna get back home and connect it to the charger and it's no big deal for me. And that is, that's a little bit more about what is watt hour per mile in a Tesla. We'll see you next time.